Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will be exploring the beautiful parts of Lanzarote, the Canary Islands. Now, do you want to feel the joy of being in another environment totally? Who wouldn't want that feeling? You want a vacation worth the money you are spending? I have the perfect place for you. Lanzarote, Canary Island. But before we start, make sure you give us a like, a subscribe to this channel. Visitors to Lanzarote often feel like they have fallen on another planet because of the strange, dramatic, and mysterious volcanic landscapes. As you move around the island's 850 square kilometers of shoreline and lava fields, it's like discovering a new continent. Even though there are a lot of people in the Tamafaya National Park, it still feels like an uncharted area. La Gresca, a smaller sister island, has beautiful scenery that brings in a lot of tourists. Still, the artist Cesar Manrique has a big effect on how the cities on the island of Lanzarote have grown. Some of the amazing places he made are the Gemios del Agua, the Mirador del Ro, and the Jardin de Cactus. He did this by respecting the environment and carefully blending architecture and nature, changes that make the original thing look even better. Now, if you want to enjoy the Lanzarote Canary Islands, here are the things you should add to your list. I'll also be including exciting spots where you can chill and hang on it. Number one, visiting the Lanzarote beaches. Although most Spanish vacation spots feature beaches, Lanzarote stands out due to the variety of beach options available. Playa de Jambios Black Volcanic and contrast of the sand with the golden sands of Playa Grande, Playa Dorade, and Papagoya. There are sands of every color from the nearly white sands of Calton Blanco to the pebble beaches of the west coast of the Timafaya National Park. There are beaches for everyone, from those crowded with people and full of water sports to those where you may relax in peace and quiet. I'll also give you about three of the favorite beaches in Lanzarote. Papagayo Beach Going to this beach will be a life-changing experience for you with its beautiful moon shape. South of Lanzarote, tucked away among the peaks of the Ajajas Natural Monument, is the pristine stretch of sand known as Papagayo Beach. Papagayo Beach is the picture-perfect beach, half moon in shape, with white sands and calm turquoise waters in the pristine setting. Yes, going to Papagayo is one of the most incredible things to do on Lanzarote. Famara Beach Famara Beach in Lanzarote's northwest is just as well known as Papagoya, but it's much larger. Famara Beach is one of the nicest in Lanzarote since it spans 6 kilometers along the island's shore, so there's plenty of room for you and your beach towel. Famara's length isn't the only selling point. The area is perfect for a variety of water sports like surfing, kiteboarding, windsurfing, and bodyboarding. A sailor's and windsurfer's dream or you may take a leisurely stroll along the beach, bask in the sun on the golden sands and swim when the tide is slow and the water is calm. And lastly, we have Flamingo Beach. Flamingo Beach, a little cove with white sands and tranquil turquoise waters, is one of the greatest beaches in Lanzarote and can be found along the coast of Playa Blanca. Flamingo Beach has everything you might possibly need to have a pleasant and relaxed time at the beach, including parking, restaurants, deck chairs, sunshades, showers, and restrooms. Flamingo Beach is wonderful all year round. It has a barred walk lined with stores and restaurants where you can cap off your day in style. Flamingo Beach is a fantastic spot to go snorkeling or scuba diving due to the high quality of its clear waters. That's where you can observe some of Lanzarote's diverse marine life. Number two, outdoor activities. If you're an outdoors type, you should definitely visit Lanzarote. Paragliding, mountain biking, and other adventure sports are just some of the options available on the island. Water sports are also available to tourists such as windsurfing, kitesurfing, and scuba diving. The La Santa Sports Complex welcomes elite athletes from all over the world to train in the perpetually pleasant climate of the Canary Islands. Here are outdoor activities you can do in Lanzarote. Hiking Hikers can enjoy the beautiful landscape on the Famara Coastal Cliffs Walk or challenge themselves on one of the several routes in Tamanfaya National Park or Las Volcanens Nature Reserve on Lanzarote, both of which have mountainous topographies. Water Sports You can use a paddleboard in a placid waters of Puerto del Carmen, learn to surf on the waves at Famara Beach, or dive deep into the ocean on a sea trek excursion, all thanks to Lanzarote's many beach resorts. Visitors to La Gracioso are looking for a rush, can also learn the basics of speed, kite surfing, go on a parasailing adventure, or have a blast on a banana boat popularly known as a crazy UFO trip. Snorkeling and Scuba Diving Lanzarote's warm waters are perfect for snorkeling and scuba diving all year long, and the island is home to a wide variety of marine species. 
You can take a PADI scuba diving course or go on a snorkeling adventure to see the squid, crabs, barracuda, and parrotfish in Puerto Calero, Charco del Palo, Playa Blanca, and Arieta, four of the island's most popular destinations. Sailing Catamaran tours are a great opportunity to see the Canary Islands from a different perspective and usually include a buffet lunch and breaks for swimming or snorkeling. Take a speedboat out to Lobos, sail to the island of La Grocius, or explore the Papagayo beaches in southern Lanzarote. Number 3. Climate Now, have you ever been in a place where all the climate scenery seems like a short scene from a fantasy movie? Lanzarote is a place you need to be if you need to experience this, no doubt. Because of this location, close to the equator, the island of Lanzarote has warm temperatures all year round in the subtropical desert climate zone. This makes it a great spot to visit any time of the year, but especially during the winter months when the rest of northern Europe is shivering in the dark. An island is a great option for vacationers hoping to avoid wet weather because it receives less precipitation than the other Canary Islands. Number 4. Festivals and Celebrations there are several interesting festivals and fiestas to attend in Lanzarote. Although the majority of these activities have religious roots, participation is open to everybody, not just Catholics or connoisseurs. Below are some of the most important and exciting upcoming events. In addition to these, there are numerous celebrations held all around Spain on national holidays and in smaller communities. And do not worry, I will be giving you a list of festivals you might want to attend in Lanzarote. Dia de los Reyes, January 5th and 6th. If you have decided to travel a few days before this day or the day itself, you have to attend the festival. Now about this festival, the three kings bring gifts instead of Santa Claus in Spain. Twelfth night, often known as Epiphany, is a major celebration because of this. This is the day on which children around finally receive their Christmas gifts from Santa Claus. The three kings ride across the island's major cities on the decorated camels and handing out candy to children. On the evening of the January 5th, typically beginning at 6 p.m., a massive and widely attended parade takes place in the island's capital, Arisaif, making it the best site to view the celebrations. Later, at about 9 o'clock, the same parade is held down for Puerto del Carmen's major avenida de las playas, Corpus Christi, mid-June. This is another beautiful celebration in Lanzarote after Carnival. Corpus Christi on Lanzarote must be the island's most vibrant celebration. Arisaif, the island's capital, is typically the best site to experience the festivities. On the Saturday after Corpus Christi, islands spread sea salt in complex patterns on the road and sidewalks near the Church of the San Gines. The following day, the thousands of people walk in a procession from the church across the salt rugs. Therefore, these artworks are only on display for a single day. So make sure you take pictures and enjoy your adventure. Fiesta de San Gines, 15th to 25th August. It is said that a portrait of Bishop suddenly appeared in the waters of El Charco in the 1700s. The people who lived in the port sea immediately appointed and anointed them as their patron saint. Whether or not the myth is based on reality, it provides a fantastic pretext for a party. And throughout the day, El Charco is where most of the action takes place with annual celebrations of Canarian sailing and wrestling and the selection of a new Miss Lanzarote. The evening of the 25th is highlighted by a spectacular fireworks show on the main beach promenade close to the Arisaif Grand Hotel, which typically begins at around 23 to 30 hours and attracts tens of thousands of people. We are at the end of this video, guys, and I know you want more. For anything you want, any details, you can make your comments in the comments section below, and I will be glad to make a video for you and make a few recommendations. Make sure to also give this video a like and subscribe to the channel.